In the rapidly evolving landscape of modern warfare, the skies have become a battleground of stealth, speed, and precision. It's no longer just about who flies faster or who maneuvers better it's about who sees the enemy first and who neutralizes the threat before ever being seen. In 2026, India has emerged with a significant leap in this race for aerial dominance with its fully indigenous beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile, the Astra. Designed and developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, or DRDO, the Astra missile is not just a weapon it's a symbol of India's growing self-reliance in defense technology and its commitment to ensuring air superiority in a rapidly changing world. Astra, which means weapon in Sanskrit, is India's first homegrown beyond visual range missile, now fully operational with the Indian Air Force in 2026. This missile is specifically designed to take out enemy aircraft from distances of up to 110 km so well beyond the range of the human eye and far enough to engage threats before they can strike. Mounted on frontline Indian fighter jets like the Sukhoi Su-13K, the Tejas Mk-1A, and in the future potentially even the Rafale, Astro is the invisible sword that strikes from the sky long before the opponent realizes what's coming. The Astra missile uses active radar homing guidance, which means once it's launched, it can guide itself toward its target using internal sensors, without needing constant direction from the launch aircraft. This makes the missile extremely lethal in high-pressure combat situations where pilots must act fast and disengage quickly. Astra travels at speeds exceeding Mach 4A that's four times the speed of sounder making it nearly impossible for enemy aircraft to outfly or outrun it. And thanks to its smokeless propulsion, it's very difficult to visually track, keeping it stealthy and deadly at the same time. In 2026, this missile represents a huge step forward in India's ability to defend its skies on its own terms. Until a few years ago, India was heavily reliant on imported missiles like the Russian R-77 or the French Mica. But with the Astra now fully integrated and field tested, the Indian Air Force no longer has to depend on foreign suppliers or worry about restrictions, delays, or costs associated with foreign technology. This level of strategic autonomy is a game changer. Astra has undergone several rounds of rigorous testing and upgrades over the years. The latest 2026 variant includes improved electronic counter countermeasures, which means it's designed to resist jamming and interference from enemy aircraft. Even if the target tries to confuse the missile using electronic warfare, Astra can filter through that noise and stay locked onto its prey. It also features enhanced maneuverability, allowing it to adjust its flight path mid-air and strike agile enemy aircraft performing evasive maneuvers. The missile operates in a fire-and-forget mode, which is critical during high-stakes combat. Once fired, the pilot can break away, reposition, or focus on other threats, while the Astra missile independently does the rest. This gives Indian pilots a massive tactical advantage in modern dogfighting scenarios that rely less on close combat and more on advanced tracking, guidance, and preemptive strikes from long range. The technology inside Astro is a reflection of India's growing expertise in advanced defense systems. The guidance system, onboard computer, proximity fuse, and seeker are all developed within India. This has opened up massive potential for export to friendly nations looking for an affordable, reliable alternative to expensive Western BVR missiles. Countries in Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and even parts of Africa are closely watching Astra's operational success with the Indian Air Force. Compared to its global counterparts, Astra stacks up impressively. While the European Meteor has a longer range thanks to its ramjet engine, Astra's solid fuel propulsion is more cost-effective, easier to maintain, 
and well suited for varied Indian terrain and weather conditions. The American AIM-120 AMRAM may have a longer track record in NATO operations, but Astra is now being customized and refined for Indian requirements a high-altitude combat over the Himalayas, low-level interception in the desert, or maritime engagements over the Indian Ocean. It's tailored for India's unique defense scenarios, and that gives it a strategic edge that off-the-shelf foreign missiles can't offer. What's more, DRDO is not stopping with Astra Mk1. Work is already underway on Astra Mk2 and Mk3 variants, which are expected to push the range beyond 150 km and include dual pulse motors, advanced seekers, and even better counter jamming capabilities. These upcoming versions will ensure that India not only matches global standards but sets new ones in the BVR missile domain. In a world where geopolitical tensions are unpredictable and military preparedness is non negotiable, the Astra missile ensures that the Indian Air Force maintains air dominance not just for today but for the battles of tomorrow. It's about deterrence through strength. When a country knows that it can detect and destroy hostile aircraft from over 100 kilometers away, without ever coming into visual contact, it gains a significant psychological and tactical advantage. Enemies think twice before crossing into protected airspace. That's the kind of impact Astra brings. For the Indian Air Force pilot sitting in a Sukhoi cockpit, locked onto a hostile jet 90 kilometers away. Astra offers the confidence that a single trigger pull can neutralize a threat with surgical precision. That level of trust in indigenous technology wasn't possible just a decade ago. But today, in 2026, it's a reality. One born out of years of development, hundreds of tests, countless improvements, and an unwavering belief in self-reliance. Astro isn't just a missile hanging off the wing of a fighter jet. It's a symbol. A symbol of how far India has come in mastering advanced military technologies. A symbol of freedom from foreign dependence. A symbol of strength in the skies. And as future versions of Astra take shape, with longer range and smarter capabilities, it's clear that this is only the beginning. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the heart of India's BVR air power. You're watching the Reverend Linear where we bring you closer to the machines, the strategy, and the technology shaping the future of defense. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more powerful stories from the front lines of innovation.